Once you've gotten those comparison operators under your belt, you can really start doing some cool stuff with Windows PowerShell. Uh, for example, get service, and this is where we'll pull in the where object commandlet. So within the where object commandlet, you've got a filter script parameter. Now that's a positional parameter, so a lot of people will just leave it off. So long as you provide the filter script, which goes in curly brackets there, uh, so long as that's in the first position, you're good to go. For right now, I'll go ahead and put it in filter script. Within that filter script, dollar sign underscore represents one of the things that was piped into where object. Um, if you think about it this way, get service produces a big table, uh, then dollar sign underscore represents one of the table rows at a time. So this filter script will actually be executed for every single row in the table, and dollar sign underscore will represent one row at a time. And you can kind of remember that because the underscore looks like a, a row, it's a sort of a horizontal bar. Now in this case, I don't want to refer to the entire service. I just want to get one of the columns. And so a period will allow me to access one column from the current row. And I want to just get the status column. And I want to see if it's equal to running. So for every row where this is true, where object will output that row back to the pipeline. If this is false for a row, then that row will be eliminated and it won't be output to the pipeline. So when I hit enter, the practical result of this is that I only get the services that are actually running. Now you can be as complicated as you want here. Um, and dollar sign underscore dot name uh, equals, I don't know, uh, VMware. And uh, nothing came out, which I have to expect, and that's a really, really important concept with PowerShell. No news is usually good news. There's no error message, so I didn't type anything wrong. It's just that there was legitimately not supposed to be any output from that particular command. Uh, I might change the equal operator to the like operator, which allows me to stick in a wildcard. Well, still not giving me anything. So let's stick in another one. Still not giving me anything. So that means I don't have any of those things that match that exact criteria. So the where object commandlet, let's take a look at its help. And when it does have an alias that's just where, so you can type that if you want to, is pretty simple. Input object will contain whatever gets piped in, and then you specify the filter script. Again, you don't have to type the dash filter script parameter name. You just have to put the that block in the curly brackets in the first position, and you're good to go. If you look at the full help for this, there's lots of examples at the end about different ways to use it. And this is your primary means of filtering information that has been brought into the shell.